Howdy! In previous videos, I've threatened to show off some of my B36 artifacts, and we're going to do that now. First thing I'm going to show you is right there. That is a General Electric yoke type siding station. It was found on the four upper turret locations in the B36. And this piece of equipment was exclusively used on the B36. It weighs every bit of 50 pounds. What it does is, first of all, it has gyros or gyroscopes. These gyroscopes feed information to a computer either via this guy for elevation or this one has azimuth, which is left to right, up and down. The earlier type sighting stations only had one gyroscope, which was called a free gyro and the gyroscope did both elevation and azimuth. The more accurate are caged. This guy is caged only to elevation and he's caged to azimuth. This number right here is your technical order. That is the technical order for maintenance and repair of the B36 remote controlled turret system. The way this works is, is you've got your handle here and you would look at the airplane and you would frame it in and there'd be dots that move. There's other videos on YouTube that show this. And those dots would be the wingspan of the aircraft. That would tell the computer how far the airplane was away. Down here, you've got your action switch. Anytime you put pressure on that, the turrets on the outside of the airplane followed the gyroscopes. And the most important aspect of the site and the system, these are called Selsun generators. They create a very small voltage, anywhere from three to say 150. And let's say your voltage is at 30. The computer knows the turret is at 30. And if you turn it to 70, the voltage gets changed to 70. Very simple stuff. That's how that works. Around the side here, you get your trigger, your fire button. This is your gun camera right there. And I think that's about all there is to it. Yoke siding station.